Oh boy, it's this game. And yes, I've also completed this one too. As hard as it may sound to believe. And that's why I'm actually going to record this and put it up on YouTube as well. So I'm just going to complete this and then prove to you that I've beaten the entire NES trilogy in Ninja Gaiden. And these games are even harder in Castlevania. <laughs> and here's the third one, which I believe to be the hardest of the three. Well, the three on the NES, when I say the three. And yes, more cutscenes. They look a little different now. They look actually more advanced. I mean, this game was made after, obviously. Ryu, what are you doing? Ha ha ha. No one who has seen what's going on there can live to tell about it. Something's not right. Oh, shit. She just fell in the water. I'm assuming Irene doesn't swim back to land and she dies. Irene Lou. CIA analyst deceased. Killed on mission cardinal. Yep, she's dead. Didn't, I, I'm, I'm assuming she tried to swim back to land but never made it. Ryu Hayabusa, descendant of the dragon clan, eliminated Irene Lou at N3-SH. See so, ya. Yeah. I barely did any research on the plot of this story because I want to just keep it a surprise. So, it has something to do with Ryu killing Irene for some reason. I killed Irene? No! Someone or something using my name killed her. Yeah, Ryu wouldn't really kill his girlfriend now, would he? Picking my way to the dragon and I tried to find the lab that Irene was investigating. So obviously there's some evil clone that's pretending to be Ryu that did the assassination and that evil clone's trying to put the blame on him. I won't rest until I find out who really killed Irene and framed me. I mean, come on, give this guy a break. Like, killed her again? So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the game. Yeah, just like Ninja Gaiden 2, you can climb up and down walls where I just have to do this. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. I literally just levitate up the wall. And the f after the first jump you make, you will notice that Ryu's physics are actually somewhat different in this game than from the other two. He jumps and falls slower than in the previous two games. You will pretty much notice this as soon as you do your first jump, especially if you've already been playing the first two games a lot, like I have. And again, that's a fire wheel, you use it at will. Except this time it takes up 20 spirit points and not just like 50. Right? They figured that 15 might have been like too little for something so powerful. Yes, this fire wheel is just as important in this game as in, as in the second and the first one. In fact, that power could be a real lifesaver. You're probably wondering what it is I have here. This is a new power they added. And I think they decided to add this in with a bunch of vertical levels. And now I lost it, so I can't show you what it is. I mean, in the first and two Ninja Gaiden games, they didn't have level segments that were exclusively vertical and moved only up and down. In this game, there's at least one in every act now. Sometimes like probably two or even three, depending on the stage. So I'll have a lot more of these than others. And I got this again. If you do this, two blades will emerge, one above Ryu, one below him, and they'll just take out enemies that are like above and below him. Considering there are a bunch of vertical levels in this game, that power can really help you. Even on some horizontal levels, that can save your life. I have to spend a lot of time explaining some of the differences between this game and... Well, first thing, I want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to die on purpose a few times. I'll just cut ahead to when I lost all my lives. Unlike the first two Ninja Gaiden games, this game has limited continues. So when you get a game over screen, you'll also see a number below that game over. Right now it says five. This tells me how many continues I have left. So if I see this game over screen five more times, it's done. I have to restart the game from the very beginning. This is probably the main thing that puts 
this game above the other two in terms of difficulty. And also, there's actually less checkpoints. When you saw that I died at that boss, I went all the way back to the beginning of this stage, and not like room C. Like pro probably would have happened if I was playing Ninja Guy 1 or 2. This game also has a lot less checkpoints. In fact, you'll probably be seeing me die on some of the later stages, so you'll just see me get back sent back a long ways. And not to mention. You also take more damage per hit in this game than you did in the other two. A bunch of the enemies in Ninja Gaidens 1 and 2 would often deal only one point of damage to Ryu, but here, the minimum damage you can take from an enemy is 2. And you still have like 16 cells of health, so that can go down a lot quicker in this game than in the other two. Not to mention you have the same short post-hit invincibility from the other two games, so... It's not too uncommon that someone's just gonna get drained for all their health in like 5 seconds, if they don't know what they're doing. So let's actually kill the boss this time. Alright, so the boss is dead. Ryu, who's there? Is someone gonna get shot again? Don't be frightened, I want you to do something for me. I don't know if I can trust that guy, he's got black hair. Go to the Castle Rock Fortress. To get there, you'll have to get past all the traps your enemy has set for you. Who is this guy? Ryu, you're the only one who can make it. Who is the enemy? What is the Castle Rock Fortress? Yeah, these characters look very different from what in the first and second game. So yeah, this game just feels so different from the other two. I don't have time to give you the details now, but once you get there, you'll learn all about Irene. Get going, Ryu, and hurry. I don't know if I can trust this guy. Act 2! And yes, this game has more stage hazards, like quicksand. If you sink too far down, you're just gonna get hit for a lot of damage. Like, I think you lose 6 cells out of your 16. Considering how many enemies they throw at you here, you really don't want this to happen to you. And keep in mind this is only stage 2. I actually had a lot of trouble getting past this the first time I played this game. Yeah, stage 2 gave me trouble. Especially if you look at how many enemies you got thrown at you. You just have to know how to take these things on, like to the right, these things just hop around. Like, it's just tough to hit them with your sword, because sometimes it just passes right through. And if it does, kind of leaves you open for getting hit. And then there's that giant thing that's flying in the sky super fast. Like, I'm lucky I even hit it with my sword. And then you go to 2-2. Two, two. This is actually a pretty long stage. Well, actually, it will just feel longer if you die a lot, especially near the end, because let's say you get to the end of the stage. You'll just have to go back to 2-2-A. You won't get to go back to one of the previous rooms. Like, let's say if I died here, I wouldn't be put right at the beginning of this room. I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning of 2-2. It's not like Ninja Gaiden's 1 and 2 at all. They give you less checkpoints here. But you'll now notice that Ryu's sword is actually bigger. You can actually pick up an item in this game that will actually extend the length of your dragon sword. Trust me, you want to find this item in later stages. Sometimes it's actually really easy to acquire. Well, in stage 3, not so much, but... In most of the stages in this game, this sword upgrade is really easy to acquire, so just get it. In fact, since you'll be put back at the beginning of all the stages you die at, You'll have a better selection of items, that's one way to look at it, but still, that's a lot more for you to redo without getting hit too many times. And you actually have less hits than in the other games. Because the minimum damage you take is two hits and not two cells and not one. So this means if you take eight hits, you're dead. And that can happen in a matter of like five seconds considering how little post hit invincibility you have. 
Yeah, if I die now, I have to go through all this stage again. Even the long auto-scrolling section. It's not that hard, it's just long. Alright, that thing hit me. That thing- off. Oh. And yes, this game still has knockback. It's not quite as bad in this game as the other two, but it's still very noticeable. And yes, I just got sent all the way back to the beginning of 2-2. Including going through the auto-scrolling section again. Which takes at least like a minute or two. You'll get frustrated very quickly by how by with how little checkpoint they give you compared to the first two games. Especially if you've played the first two games. You'll know how much more generous they were with the checkpoints back in those two. But here, no! Because we want a hard game! We want people to suffer! We want more suffering! And more reasons for people to hate us. Because that's the good stuff. That's what life is made of. Okay, we're back in the last room before the boss. Now, I don't want to get burnt again by those jumping flame particles. Because these are actually pretty hard to dodge. There we go. That thing dies. And now, yes, this boss is still pretty easy. Once you know what its pattern is, just moves up and down the wave-like motion. And every time you hit it, the boss actually kind of just stops in place for a second, which just actually gives you multiple opportunities to swing at it. Yeah, it really couldn't move because it just kept hitting it over and over again. That can really help you out. When it comes to fighting bosses. Okay, more story! What is this place? Ha ha ha! It's been a long time for you, Hayabusa. You're Foster! Wait, yes, Foster. As in the same CIA agent that gave Ryu the mission to go to the Amazon ruins to go and investigate what was going on with the demons in the temple in Act 4. No one has ever made it out of here alive, but no one ever will. Was Irene here? You. You're the one who... I don't know what you're talking about. You probably do. I heard that you killed Irene. Why would Ryu kill Irene is beyond me. I thought he loved her. We're bound to run into each other again before long. I hope you're still alive when we do. So long, Ryu. Just wait, Foster. I won't rest until I find out the truth. So yes, Foster? We thought he was a CIA... He was a CIA agent, and now he's like the main antagonist of this game. Or one of them, anyway. 